Today, the guard towers and the barbed wire fences at Roar and Jerome Location Center, which together in turn more than 16,000 Japanese Americans are no longer there. But our museum here tells a story of the Japanese Americans interned here in Arkansas. This could not have happened without the help of the Japanese American confinement site grants. The first one was $435,000, which enabled us to renovate the abandoned railroad depot as our museum to house the $1 million exhibit titled Against the Will, the Japanese American experience in World War II. Now keep in mind that depot right there was about to fall down. The inside was just a tragic mess. And with the help of these grants, we renovated it and brought it back to life. And now we are very proud to call it the Japanese American Determined Camp Museum. The Against Their Will exhibit was developed in part by the Rockefeller Foundation, which we had a 10 year lease with the Delta Culture Center out of Helena. And back in January of 2023, after several attempts, the exhibit was donated to our museum. We are so grateful to the Division of Arkansas Heritage for making this happen. We also want to extend our sincere thanks to ASU and Dr. Adam Long, Dr. Ruth Hawkins. I know they're there somewhere. Raise your hand. There you go. For their continued support of our museum and the Memorial Cemetery at Roar. With their help, we've installed new signage at Roar using QR codes to access the audio history provided by George Takei. In April of 2013, 10 years ago, nearly 500 people were on hand to dedicate the new museum, and actor and former attorney, Mr. George Takei, was our keynote speaker. When we started planning for this event, I emailed George to see if he would be available to be our guest speaker for this event, if his schedule allowed. With absolutely no hesitation, he agreed to come and speak. He was only five years old when he was interned at Roar with his family, and I want to personally thank him for his willingness to come back to help us celebrate this special occasion. We are also so excited to have George along with the 200 or so pilgrims, visitors from all over the media to join us for this special occasion. Thank you, Mayor O'Leary. And I can't tell you how happy and grateful I am to be here with all of you on this location. It was 10 years ago that I came here and spoke at this mic in front of this building. It was a very special occasion because this building, first of all, was built as a building for transportation. It was a railway station, but there came a time when the trains didn't stop here anymore or soon the trains didn't come through here anymore. So it lay empty and barren and unused. And with Mayor Ouyang's uh, leadership, the idea to put a museum in it came about. And they chose to tell a little bit about Deshea County's history. Deshea County held both Jerome and Roar. And that story should be important for all people of Deshea County, but not all people of Deshea County knew about this history. And it should be a part of Arkansas history. And many people in, in, in Arkansas didn't know about what happened in Deshea County over 80 years ago. And it is an important chapter of very important lesson to be learned from that chapter for all Americans. And it's very little known still today in the United States. We took the story of uh, allegiance, which takes place in uh, uh, an internment camp in Hartmont, as a matter of fact, to 
uh, London to tell the story with uh, an audience made up of British people and a lot of American tourists who happen to be in London. And most of those people after the show told us that they knew nothing about it. But most vitally important, Japanese Americans who were incarcerated and their descendants know very little about it. My father was a block manager and he, when I was a teenager, I became very curious and we had many long dis uh, after dinner discussions um, as a teenager. I learned about it from my father, although I was here and experiencing it as a young child. And there are Japanese Americans whose parents did not talk about it. It's their own family history, and there is that blank in their history. It is a very important story for Japanese Americans. And I am eternally grateful for the people of McGee and Deshea County to decide to make this Center of Transportation a museum to tell that Arkansas history. Because this building had served as a transportation center. And with a museum that tells a story of Deshea County and of Arizona, or of Arkansas. <laughs> My husband is from Ar uh, uh, Arizona. <laughs> I misspeak often. And an important American story needs to be told right here. And that is why I was here for the fir uh, first opening 10 years ago, this very spot for the gala opening of the ja World War II Japanese American uh, Internment Museum. This museum tells an important story. And today we celebrate a decade of telling that important story. And as people from faraway places came here and people from here went to faraway places, Today now, they are this building is still in the transportation business. It takes people back in time to history to learn about what happened here 80 years ago. And it inspires people to look to the future and with the lessons learned here, to build a better future, not only for Arkansas, but for America and transporting ideas, information, and inspiration. This building today is even more vitally in, uh, in the transportation business. I first returned to Arkansas after I left as a five-year-old back in 2004. That was my first return to Arkansas and to Rower, where we were incarcerated. I knew a great deal from what my father told me. So I came with what I thought was a lot of information and eagerly looking forward to connecting with my memory that happened here in the Shea County, in the Rower. We uh, arrived at Little Rock and by bus we came down and the bus uh, driver told me that we're near, we were nearing Rover. I looked around and it didn't look anything like what, what, what I remembered. We kept on going and the same scenery continued. And soon the driver said, we are now where Rover was. It was completely changed. The lesson I learned was that things change. The swamp had been drained, the trees had been chopped down, and it was just miles upon miles of cotton fields. And I'm told that some of those cotton fields are now gone. Something else is being grown there now. 
But when I came back in 2004, as a 67 year old, so I've been gone a long time, and a lot of major changes had happened. Change happens. And what this museum does is it informs people. They understand, understand better history. And then if they're really inspired, they move forward to try to make the shake out in Arkansas and our country, the United States, a better place. Because even today, we are in troubled times. We have racial fractures. We have political fractures. And we have a time when violent, unthinking people practice violence. We saw it on January 6th last year. So we, the lesson to be learned here is vitally important. And I am grateful for the existence of the World War II Japanese American Internment Camp Museum. It is an important contribution to making America a better country, a more informed country, and hopefully making better Americans. And so I, I would like to conclude with a gesture from Star Trek. Some of you may recognize this. It's a welcome uh, uh, gesture, and it means live long and prosper. And so may a World War II Japanese American internment camp museum live long and prosper. Thank you. Industrial Foundation, I'd just like to present Mr. George Takei just a small token of our appreciation for taking time out of his busy schedule to deliver that special message to all of us today.